Welcome to the Supervisor Tips and Tricks video on AutoCreate templates. AutoCreate templates allow you to define a set of components that can be automatically inserted by a supervisor when you load in new data or other particular components. This video is a follow-on from a previous video on templates, which is linked in the description below. One situation where AutoCreate templates can be really useful is if every time you load in new data, straight away you're inserting new components. So we can configure Supervisor to automatically insert the components that we need straight away so we don't have to worry about doing that. So all we would do to set this up is I'll right click on one of my domains here and add, let's say we always know that we want a box and whisker plot. I'll insert that here. We can configure any settings required over in the property panel and these can be saved as part of our template. So that's really useful as well. And then once we've got the component all configured, we can save it as a template by right clicking, selecting component and save as template. Alternatively, you can also save it as a shell template, which will just take all of the default settings from supervisor rather than taking any of the settings that we've configured over in the property panel. So for this one, I'll just save it as a regular template into our default directory. That one will be fine for now. And so now we've got it saved. If you wanted to do multiple components, say you had several inserted under a particular domain, you could also create a template by selecting component and save child components as a template. And that would collect all of the components inserted beneath this domain and put them into one template. But for now, we're just going to go with this box and whisker plot. So to insert our template, Navigate down to the library tab in our component options panel down here, and we can open up the templates library. So in the templates library, we can see we've got our auto create table up here in our auto create tab. And at the moment it's got one entry in it. So yours may have a slightly different name depending on if that gets changed in the future, but essentially this V7 template that's already here is responsible for inserting the histogram, probability plot, and mean and variance plot whenever we insert new data into Supervisor. So if you like, you can disable this, or you can create a set of components with different settings that you can insert instead of this if you'd like to keep some of these components. But for us, we're just going to add our extra box plot on top of the three default components. So to do that, you just need to click on this button here select our template and open that and it will automatically fill in the rest of these fields. Apart from the comment, you can add a comment if you like there. Importantly, this says point data, meaning that the components in this template are going to be inserted whenever we insert new point data. So if we save all now, we can test this out by starting a new project. And I can drag in some data that I've got ready here and load it. And then once we've loaded it, now we can see all of our domains and our assay also have this box and whisker plot. So you can insert as many extra auto create templates into that table as you like and turn them on and off as you need. They can save you a lot of time instead of manually inserting and configuring all of your components. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on templates, check out the supervisor help documentation that's linked in the description below.